hopefully you have watched the first episode of this series just to give you a background i am sharing excerpts of my shivining essays to give an example a real physical example of how someone can word their different essays in response to particular questions in a way that is compelling enough for someone who is reading your essay to be persuaded to literally respond to you positively or at least give you feedback and you know you being given a, a platform to come for an interview and then do your essay justice and literally prove to them that you read my essay and you're impressed that was nothing now let me show you <laughs> let me show you who i am and and why you need to um give me this this opportunity i have my laptop here and i'm going to be reading for you excerpts of what i wrote in response to the shivening essay questions i will repeat it is not in your benefit for you to replicate this essay word for word because these essays are literally kept in archives and plagiarism is a very real and big thing that is taken very seriously in very many countries. The UK is top of that list for those who have been to the UK um, as students. You know what it means to plagiarize. It's a felony in spaces that that have core values of integrity, honesty, transparency. It's a low blow, to be honest. So don't bother replicating this essay if you really want a fair shot at winning something. Be true to yourself. Don't deny your story the chance to be had for its authenticity. This is my story. Yours is different, but it's not any less great. It's just yours. So tell your own story. Use this excerpt as a guide towards wording your own story, your own tale. And feel free to Turn things here and there because we are different. Feel free to be inspired, but not necessarily to replicate. The second question, which in in my time was the relationship building and shared learning essay. This could change in your year, so don't take my word for it. In my year, this was question two, but in yours, it could be something different. And this was the question. Um, I, I say shevening, but apparently it's shivening. So if you see me, saying shivening, 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 <laughs> apologies. So shivening is looking for individuals with strong professional relationship building skills who will engage with a shivening community and influence and lead others in their chosen profession. Please explain how you build and maintain relationships in a professional capacity using clear examples of how you currently do this and outline how you hope to use these skills in the future. For those who know, you usually have 500 words. You have a, a minimum of 100 words and a maximum of 500 words. For you to not use at least 460 words, at least, why would you use 100 words? Why? <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you can win with 100 words, but if you have four, 500 words, why not use them? In fact, they aren't enough. So please use the 500 words. So here is an excerpt from for what I wrote for this essay. I would like to also tell you that most of the things that we do are not done in isolation. Most of the things that we do are done in teams. They are done together with a combination of people. They are done together with different stakeholders, different partners. But this application is about you. Whatever you're applying for, a job, a scholarship, a fellow, it's about you. So let the role that you played in whatever you did shine through hmm? don't say we don't say you for you what did you do so own it tell your story your colleagues your your fellow stakeholders your fellow teammates will write their own essay and they will also own what you did because you all did that right so bear in mind that very many of these things that we do are not done by one person maybe you're a team of six you're a team of ten but the essay you're writing is about you. Oh, this is what I wrote. Once COVID-19 cases had been recorded in Uganda and schools were closed, I decided to make a documentary in September 2020 to record the novel experiences of Ugandan folk in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. In this documentary titled The Power of Their Story, I managed to interview students, the academia, persons living with disabilities, recovered COVID-19 victims, frontline health workers, and political leaders. Notably, I proactively wrote a letter to the hospital director of Mbarara Regional Referral Hospital, Dr. Barije, asking him to participate in the interview and permit me to interview his staff. 
He then widened my network by connecting me to Dr. Rose Mohindo, head of the COVID-19 task force in, the, in MRRH. I'm saying MRRH because when I mentioned Barara General Referral Hospital, I abbreviated it. So when I know I'm going to say a long word, like the name of the hospital, I will show the abbreviation and what it stands for so that at a later time, when I, when I say the abbreviation, someone knows what exactly I am talking about. So he then widened my network by connecting me to Dr. Rose Mohindo, head of the COVID-19 task force in MRRH, and the district health officer, Barara, Dr. Sebutinde, with whom I formed a cordial relationship. Now, when we go back to the question, it said, please explain how you build and maintain relationships in a professional capacity. Because Shrevening is looking for individuals with strong professional relationship building skills who will engage with the Shrevening community and influence and lead others in their chosen profession. So I'm giving them one. There's a date. I'm giving them the context of this time, what happened. This is the year when COVID-19 was, was running amok in the entire globe. And I'm telling them what I did. This documentary is actually available online. And if you want, you can go and look for it and watch it. And I'm showing them how I built relationships, how I proactively uh, designed an activity, reached out to different individuals who then connected me to other individuals. So the whole idea of COVID-19 coming, um, there, there's so much uncertainty, ignorance, lack of knowledge. There's so much that is not known. And I am organizing a documentary that is bringing together all these different people. I eventually reached out to the director of a hospital who connects me to other people who enabled my network to grow and further enabled this particular activity to be a success. So I'm showing them how I built relationships. So you two have an experience of your own where you did something and you built connections that you leveraged to have a particular goal achieved. You can't have this example. Do not plagiarize. Don't steal. You don't have to. You have your own example where something happened in your church. Um, there, was a, there was a flood in your village. There was a family in your neighborhood that, that was starving. And you did something about it. And you probably didn't do it alone. So I'll give examples of how this initiative came to be and how you came to implement your objective with the support of different individuals. Get out the, the heart of the issue in a way that is compelling. I hope that this excerpt can help you to see how to formulate your own essay. Now, the next portion of, the next paragraph of my essay shows how at a later date, I utilized those same contacts to do something totally different. So I met the people in 2020 for this particular thing. Then later, because I had kept a connection with them, I'm not saying I was WhatsApping them, calling them, it didn't matter, but you kept a connection, a professional connection, and a, a year later or years later, you are able to leverage those networks. They want to see the longevity of your network. So I hope this can give you an illustration of how you too can word your own essay, how you too can give context, give an example, use the star approach, give the situation, what happened, what, what was the date, what was the problem, what was the issue, and then what did you do? Because you're a leader. You know, we are all leaders. You don't have to have uh, a title or to have been elected. A leader is someone who literally has initiative, who is pragmatic, who can influence, who can, who sees a problem and does something about it. You have probably done something about a problem, you know. So if you have done something about, about a problem, you are a leader. Tell us, show them what you did and how you are plagued with this challenge and you didn't just turn a blind eye. You didn't look the other way. You did something about it. So we, they want to read that. They want to see that. And you have to tell them that for you to, for you to be able to be shortlisted. So that was question two for the relationship building and shared learning essay for the Shrivening Scholarship. Don't replicate. It's a waste of time because you'll be asked several questions and you'll be caught in your own ditch that you dug yourself for no reason. Yet your story is enough. Actually, it's more than enough because what I wrote in these essays is just a speck of dust in the desert of my life. You have so many stories, so many, so many examples. Don't read yourself of the chance to tell your own tale, write your own book, write your own story. 
let it be told in your own words in a way that you would like it to be told or to be read. So this is episode two. I have already shared episode one, which which is the first question for Maya, leadership and influence. This is question two, and I'm going to be sharing for the other ones as well. Hope this can help you. Like I said earlier, I cannot be able to read each and everyone's essay and respond to them. I have received so many emails, DMs, WhatsApp messages, and calls. And sadly, I honestly cannot respond to all of you. I cannot read all your essays, look at the errors, look at the the wrongly worded context, look at how your essay isn't compelling enough. I cannot give you that significant time. But I can share with you what I have learned for you to be able to Take this and format it to your own context. This style of writing works for any application. Any application. A fellowship, a job, a scholarship, uh, anything. You need to, if there's an essay that requires you to talk about yourself, use this particular style. Use a story. Use an example. Use an actual situation to give context, to add value to what you're saying. You won't just up outline and say, oh, I'm a leader. I, I have influence. I know how to keep contacts. I'm very good at timekeeping. I have great interpersonal skills. Okay, we can all write that, but prove to us. Show us. And the best way to do that is through examples. 